Okay, I've got these very nice stainless steel springs. We've got to put these, we've got, so this is 21 meters element. We'll go around putting it on the 21 meter position, such as this one. That's it, 21 meter position. You can see there, let's go to the next one. 21 meter position. I'll get this mic cable so we don't trip over it. Where's the 21 meter position? Okay. 21 meter position. Okay. So the next step, um, we will feed this wire element through the holes of the spring and um, okay let's do it now while I'll do one of them hey okay, we're back now we've got to feed this through two elements that's the 21 meters feed it through the hole like so and again through this one Feed it through this hole. You got that, Chris? That's it for that side. And this one goes to the ballon. Um, we'll go this way. Oop! Um, feed it through this one it's probably going to get caught up in the speaker cable microphone cable no. yep so that's in the middle well that was quick that's the first element almost done Nice spring-loaded action there. Move that in the middle. Ah, where's the ballon? So, have a look here. You got that there? Undo this screw. Oh, we don't want to drop that. And don't want to lose those. Okay, so the first one goes like that and this one goes like so okay use these to you can do the same thing for the rest of the elements when you finish putting on all the elements put that little screw back on underneath here to secure them all okay okay we're back now with doing the sloped white ropes we've done the horizontal ropes and we've done one of the elements you can do all the elements do all the elements uh, but after you do all the elements then Get the rope out of the bag. So they don't get all knotted. You've got both ends here. Keep one, keep them separate. I'll put it on the fence. I'll do un one, un undo one of them. Okay. We can do it another a better way, but there's there's the first rope. So this first rope 
goes from have a look here you got um, so there's the hole pointing towards that like that you say first row but they're all the same yeah yeah they're all the same that would go pointing towards here the center hole of this attachment here that's it hi Chris what are you up to there right so now that we finished installing our elements we're going to go ahead and put on our uh, vertical um, guys that just goes up here like that right. and then down to the center pin oh, on, on the guide okay. so we'll, I'll do another one here okay. so if you come over here on the center pin of this guide here uh -huh. right. and then follow it up the beam Watch out for this. all the way to the top here and there you go it's as simple as that very good that's your antenna done Okay. What, um, oh, that's done. There's your fully assembled antenna. The only thing left to do now is maybe tune this tuning block here on each of your elements, which won't well, take. It's already pre-tuned. It's too. already pre-tuned anyway, but, so. That's right, but um, you could, if you want a specific frequency, you could tune it a bit further. Even to more, to more accuracy, if you really wanted to. Yeah. There you go. Oh, and we've got those little screws that we want to for the, tighten the, um, the ballon. You want to put those on? Give a demo of that. Yep, so once you've put on all your elements here, you want to come over here to your ballon and get you these little lock nuts and just come under here and secure secure all the elements in place there's one and there's what does the other one look like what is it oh yeah yep. the bottom end is mm -hmm. with the indents on it mm -hmm. there you go now all the elements are secure oh one last thing we have to do is secure the horizontal poles under well, the last thing we have to do is secure the horizontal poles to um, the underside to the base. of the bolts, yeah. So we'll show that last step. So once you're ready to go and go ahead and mount your antenna on a pole or on your roof or wherever it's going, you want to come down here and get these little wing nuts yep. and just secure the guides to the base here. And we want to find that thread. Here we are. And righty tidy. Lefty loosey, righty tidy. There you go. Finger tight. And then you want to repeat for the other four guides here. Okay, make... if you you're you're the strong one in the group, can you just lift all this up and show them what it looks like underneath? Oh, oh yeah, we've got this. So we've, we've got, got the these are the, where we secure the, the guides oh, okay. to. And then these are the U clamps. To mount onto a pole on your fence or on your roof wherever it's going pretty very simple good. very good yeah make sure when you do uh, attach it to a vertical pole that this is very tight because if it's not this whole antenna will, will swing around blow in the breeze. away in the wind very tight you don't want it otherwise it'll snap off your feeder line if it turns around too many times make sure it's nice and tight it's, it's got this nice grippy part of the clamp there but make sure it's secured very tightly okay thank you there Chris. you go